Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Michael Eke, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Smart Tips. In today's video, guys, I'll be showing you the step by step process which you can actually use to open a working PayPal account right here in Nigeria. You know, payment has been one of the biggest issues most internet marketers face, whereby they cannot receive funds from around the world right here in Nigeria with the use of PayPal. That is because Nigeria is one of those countries that has restricted the use of PayPal. But in this video guys, I will be showing you guys the step by step process you can use to open a working PayPal account which you can use to receive funds from around the world and also send funds to people around the world. So whether you are a freelancer, an affiliate marketer, an online business owner or any person who receives funds from around the world, this video is for you because you will definitely need a platform to get those funds after running a service that is as a freelancer or after making a sale as an affiliate marketer or for you who have a relative and waiting for payment from them overseas just stick with me guys because i'll be showing you those step by step process which you can use to get those funds this is what we're we'll learning from this video today number one how to create a working paypal account number two how to verify your paypal account number three how to link your bank account to paypal and number four how to withdraw from paypal before we continue guys, if you love this video or if you love this information I'm sharing with you guys, kindly click on the like button below and also go to the comment section and comment PayPal so that I will know you are following with me. Also guys, if it's your first time in my channel, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't get to miss my videos on the smart online tips. Let's get started guys. The mistake most of us make while opening the PayPal is just going to our browser and imputing paypal.com. Yeah, I also did make the mistake the first time I tried to open my PayPal until I found out this step I'm showing you guys. So as you can see, what is here is paypal.com slash ng slash home. This is because it automatically detects your IP address, which is right here in Nigeria. You can see this ng this ng starts for nigeria and right here in this interface we have just limited features which is just for here just the personal and under you can see how paper works pay online send payments search for deals but there is no receive payment so to be able to assess the full paper features we are going to be using either the uae the lesotho or the south african domain which is using the paypal.com slash ae for the Lesotho, we're using the paypal.com slash ls and for the South Africa, we're using the paypal.com slash zha. Yeah. But for this video today, I'll be using the UAE domain, which is paypal.com slash ae. Alright? And now, here we are. You can see the difference between the AE interface and the NG interface which is for the Nigerian interface, we have just the personal feature there and while for here, we have the personal, the business and partners and developers and here for the personal, you can see how PayPal works, pay online, send payments, get paid, this is where you can receive payments here, right here and also the business, there are more features in the business aspect and also the partners and developers. So guys, first, what we're going to do right now is to click on the sign up button, yeah, sign up button. And right here, we'll be taken to this place where you have to choose either the personal account or the business account. I do go for the business account because this will allow you to use your Nigerian number and Nigeria address without any issue. So you click on the business account and click on continue. All right. So you are asked to put in your email address. continue now to enter your password continue and now you are asked to 
fill in your details, which is your business contact here, your legal first name, your legal last name, your legal business name, then your business phone number, your business address, and the rest. Okay, so we'll be filling this right here. All right, my legal first name will be Michael. Then last name Ike Chuku. Then now my business name. For those who don't have a business, you can just input your full name right here. So Michael Ike Chuku. All right here. This Michael Ike Chuku is actually the name. That your customer or anyone who wants to send you payment will surely see. But if you click here, you can choose another name you want to be on the receipt. But I prefer Michael Ikechuku, it's alright. So, guys, here you're asked to choose your number. At this point, you can choose your Nigerian number for it. So, you go look for the Nigerian code. Alright. Okay. And you put in your number there. Alright. Then now your address. At this point, you can also fill in your normal address. You can also fill it in. Then for this location, put in Abu Dhabi or any other region in UAE you want to use. Alright, then click on the agree and continue. And now we are asked to describe your business. So let's say it's more of an individual or sole proprietorship. Okay, let us say it's an online business. Um Let's give them business services. Okay, website is optional. We we'll continue. So right here, you can also fill your normal detail. That is your date of birth. And right here, you are going to be using your national ID for those who have, or if your passport or your driver license. Yes, the national ID will be your Nigerian own. And your nationality, do not forget, is Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria. Okay. And so you just fill up this rest. So guys, after imputing those your details, it will bring you to this interface here. And you've actually opened your PayPal account, as you can see right here. You've opened it. You can see request money at this point you cannot receive money in this paypal you can request money you can send money and you can basically do everything so now we are done with the first phase on how to quit a working paypal account and now option number two which is how to verify your paypal account okay so right here we are asked to confirm your email address and go see details. So you go to your email, they would have sent you a message. Okay. Let's reload the page. Alright. Confirm your email address to use accounts. So you confirm your email. And right here you ask for your password. Okay. As you can see right now, we've actually confirmed our email address and we are done with the second phase of 
to this video which is how to verify your paypal account and now off to the third one how to link your bank account to paypal okay you can see right here link and confirm my debit or credit card all right guys as you can see here you're asked to link either a credit card or a bank account and you cannot link a nigerian bank account with this you cannot because nigeria has restricted the use of paypal so what we are going to do right now is to go to link a credit card link a credit card this part is very tricky because paypal does not accept every card you can't use your normal savings account or your current account so for paypal because they won't accept that but i'll be showing the card that you can use for it and which will get accepted very fast okay so now this is the uba prepaid card yes the uba prepaid card or also called the uba africa card once you get this you can use this card to you can connect this card to your paypal account it works very fine all you need to do is to go to a uba bank with your details and ask them for uba prepaid card and the fun fact about this is that you must not have an account with them yes you must not have an account with them just go in with your details and you don't even get charged for this card once you go there you request for the card and try to deposit ten dollars or five thousand naira equivalent so that you can use it to activate the card instantly yes five thousand naira to activate the card instantly and once you're done please wait for three days yes wait for three days because when i did mine it, when i came from the bank i just tried to link it up immediately and i got declined asap you get until after waiting for three days then it worked smoothly okay so after three days and funding it with five thousand naira we can continue with the process okay so after linking your card this is what you're going to see next yes you're going to see this next which is going to show you done my i've already done mine before so i'm just going to be showing the clip of what i've done because i just took a screenshot of them okay so you're going to show you link to your visa prepaid okay then you will brought to this page to confirm your card you'll be asked to confirm your card which you click on the confirm card and right here you will be charged like I said, you'll be charged. So that's why I asked you to deposit at least 5,000 naira. As you can see here, you'll be charged. We will charge 1.95 USD to your card. So you'll be charged 1.95 USD. And you're going to click, click on get the code so that you can get that code. You're going to click get the code. Then after that, to notify that a code is on its way, it should appear within two to three business working day. But most times that could really come within 30 minutes or so. Mine came within the first 10 minutes. So don't mind that two to three business they, they, they're showing right there. Alright. So once you see the code, you go back to your PayPal, you're going to go back to your PayPal and click on enter the code to confirm your card. When you click on it, click on enter the code. Then you put the four digit code right here. I've already imprinted mine already. And you press on confirm. And once you confirm it, it's going to tell you your bank prepaid has been confirmed and you are brought to this place again and that is all so after that you go back to your home page which is right here and as you can see you fully linked your paypal with your bank so at this point in time now you've actually finished the step stage three of this video yes which is to link your bank account to your paypal and now for the final step of this video guys is how to withdraw from paypal okay how to withdraw from paypal i just opened this account so i don't have any funds right here but where you can see this 0, 0.00 usd and available right here this paypal balance let me show you guys very well this paypal balance you're going to see something like if you have funds you're going to see something like transfer once something like transfer, you click on the transfer and it will automatically show you this your card which you link to it. This is your card you link to it. You're going to, it's going to show you there. And you click on the card and you press, you tap on the withdraw, which is going to withdraw automatically to this your account right here. 
and once you do that from here you can now withdraw it go to any atm or pos and withdraw it all right so that is it for today guys we've actually learned how to create a working paypal account how to verify our paypal accounts with our email address how to link our bank account to paypal and also how to withdraw from paypal at this point now you should have successfully opened your own paypal account but if you have any question don't hesitate to go to the comment section and type it there and i'm going to give you a reply that's it for today guys as we discover the smart online tips